You got any questions? Because you look like you got a question. No? Okay, so I'm going to ask you this. You, you, you've you been paying attention to uh, what's going on in the news, right? You don't watch the news? Uh, why don't you like to? No, it's real. It's real. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Right. So I, I, I let it guide me by my, by my God. So I don't let nothing set me off my course what I need to get to. Right. You got me right here, right now. Okay, and, and listen, that's good, but guess what? The scriptures say we have to also watch. We have to watch. Listen, brother, you living in the last days. Right, give me uh, Matthew 24 real quick. All right, and I want verse uh, four right there. Because guess what, brother? You may think you got time, but time is running out. And that's what we out here trying to get our people to see. Okay, so guess what? Today, if you walk away from here today, this might be the last day. All right, so we want you to come down. So I'm gonna show you some things real fast. Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse four. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So guess what? Christ said many shall come in his name, saying what? That they are Christ, right? Did that happen? That happened, right? Right. That, that was a sign of the last days. This man came right here. This man came right here, saying that what? He was Jesus Christ, right? These Christian pastors... These Roman uh, 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 preachers, right? These Jesuit priests, right? They're all saying they're coming in the name of Christ, mm. right? But they come in to what? Deceive our people. Our people are being deceived. They think that the way they are living today is going to get them in the kingdom of heaven. And guess what? It's going to lead to them being killed and put to death, right? Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So do you see what's going on in Afghanistan? Guess what, brother? We are on the brink of World War III. Right. It's prophecy, okay? This is the war that's going to end all wars, right? And this that you see around you will be no more. This is going to be a lake of fire. Yes, right. You understand? Listen, the dreams don't matter if you're not on this side, right? Oh, you on this? No, not not yet. Not yet, brother. You still got learning to do. You still got learning to do. Right. But the point is, brother, the times we're living in now, a lot of our people, they're not paying attention to that. So you see what's going on, right? That's why we told you earlier, what? You got to make sure you're keeping the commandments. Because Christ said, these are the signs of the end. Read. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass. So guess what? He's saying all these things must come to pass. Majority of these people driving by right now, they have no clue what's going on. Right? And many of our people are going to be put to death. Right? Because they are blind to what's going on. So guess what? You got to come together with the prophets. Right? And learn. You got to come down to the school. Bro. I'm going to keep repeating that. Right? So the question is this now. You know that, right? What are some things that you need help with? Because we all got things that we're dealing with. Like what? Give an example. What's something you need help with? What's something you uh, struggle with that you need to change about yourself in order to what? Receive the kingdom. You said bravery. All praises. All praises. That's actually a great one. Uh, give me Sirach 2 real quick. Give me Sirach 2 real quick. Right? Because you talked about bravery, right? Okay, okay, so that's a great, great uh, 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 thing to admit. Most men won't admit that, Never. right? So give me a uh, Sirach 2, right? And I want verse 1 real quick, because this, this, this chapter is one of the most important chapters in the Bible for us. And it goes into being brave, having faith, being courageous, despite what comes our way, right? Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Prepare thy soul for temptation. So guess what? We're calling you through the word of God, right, to come and serve the Lord. You're being called to come and serve the Lord, right? The scriptures say what? Prepare yourself for temptation, right? You know what that temptation is going into? That's going into, prime example, it could be small things, right, such as dealing with, are you married? 
No, you're not married. Are you in a relationship? No, you're not in a relationship. For some people, it could be their wife, their girlfriend, right? Guess what? The temptation may be where she says, you know what? I don't want to be with you no more for keeping right, these commandments. Yo, 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 Guess what that requires to keep moving? Bravery, right? It requires courage. It requires faith, right? Read. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. So in order to constantly endure, Brother Marcos, in order to constantly endure, right, to man up, to right, move brother, forward, what does that require? Bravery. So the question is this. You said you need to man up, right, stop being a kid. What specifically about that? Like, what? what you don't have a job, you're not working. Is it, what are you scared of? Hey, Deshaun. What are you scared of? Deshaun. So you're scared to be who you need to become. So you're talking about being a prophet, right? Coming out here doing the work of the Lord. Okay, give me uh, where it says um, the Lord is not giving you spirit of fear. The book of Second Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So guess what? It says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, right? Where the change is going to begin, brother, is through the application. It's through the application of God's laws, right? One thing you can start doing to help get your faith built up is being around other men that have that spirit of courage, that have that other sp that spirit of power, of might. You got to be around the prophets, right? Because your brothers will help what? Strengthen your spirit. That's right. They're strengthening your spirit. Give me that uh, iron sharpens iron. Real quick. Right? So it starts there. You got to be around somebody that can teach you how to develop those traits, how to build that spirit up in you, bring it out of you. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 27 and verse 17. Iron sharpeneth iron. So iron sharpeneth iron. We are the iron, brother. We're supposed to sharpen each other. That's right. Right? Read. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. So guess what? By you being around other brothers, right? Where you may be weak, where you may be lacking, such as courage, right? Another man will have that courage and he can help build that up within you, right? Where you may lack in faith, somebody else can help what? build you up in faith where you may lack in zeal somebody can help build you up in zeal but the point is you have to be around your people you got to be amongst each other right give me hebrews 10 real quick give me hebrews 10 right there read that the book of hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25 not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together so guess what brother once again the bible said don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together meaning don't be out here on your own don't be out here on your own, right? Read. As the manner of some is. Because some of our people, actually a lot of our people think they can do it on their own. Right? Read. But exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. So guess what? We're supposed to exhort each other. But the only way you can be exhorted is if you're around. The only way your spirit can be built up is if you're around. The only way you That's can become right. that courageous, bold lion is if you are around. That's you right. understand? So that's the first step for you. If you want that spirit to be on you, if you want that built up inside of you, guess what? The Lord's saying, okay, I'm going to bring forth the men that's going to show you that. I'm a, Okay, so I'll pray this. You here. But now what you, you got to keep coming. Never been no people like you before. Never uh, hey, hey, guess what? Well, I was always doing it by myself because nobody was like you guys. All, hey, all praises to the most high, brother. So guess what? Today's your day. Give me Proverbs 20 and 24. Bring it out. I'm Give me strong. I'm brave. I'm here to protect my family, kids, women, everything. Okay, all praises. I've been doing it by myself. I've been looking for men like you. Hey, right. and guess what? Do you think it's by coincidence that you're here? No, I've been, something's been telling me. Mm. For the last couple of weeks. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see if that's biblical. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Man's goings are what? Of the Lord. So guess what, Marcos? 
the way you got here today, literally, do you always drive down the street at this time of day? No. No, right? But guess what? For some reason, the I'm Lord... Hungry. That's why I keep exactly. <laughs> so guess what? The Lord told you to come right down this way, right? So what? You could run into the prophets. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? Because guess what? How can you understand that at that moment, wherever you was at, you're like, I'm hungry. And you know what? I'm going to go down this road, make a right, and come park in this parking lot just to meet yes, the men yes, that my soul has been telling me I need to meet. Right. It's not a coincidence. It's of God. So guess what? Guess what you're getting now? You're getting the word of God. Your soul is being fed. Your soul is being fed because our people out here, guess what? They're lost. Our people are lost. And this Bible gives us hope. This Bible gives us the fuel that we need to keep pushing, right? That's why you're here, brother. That's what we out here to preach to our people. Give me Isaiah 61. Give me Isaiah 61 real quick. Because what did Christ do? What, what did Christ do? Isaiah 61 in uh, verse 1. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So guess what? These men that you see out here, the Spirit of the Lord is upon us. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us. Read. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. So guess what, brother? We out here to preach good tidings to you, brother, to the meek. Right? Because the meek are going to be those that are going to be obedient to the word of God. That's right. Now, you said you're about it. So guess what? We out here for you, brother, to That's preach right. this to you. Read. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Because guess what? Our people are brokenhearted. Right? Our people are going through pain. You said it yourself. You're going through a bunch of pain. But guess what? We out here to bind you up with the word of God. That's right. Right? To fix those things within you that are broken. Read. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Because guess what? Even though we may think we're free, God has said we are captives. We are captives. We're not free till we are in our kingdom. You understand? So our day of deliverance is at hand. Right? Read. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Uh -huh. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Because the year of the Lord is at hand, brother. The end is at hand. Look what's going on in the Middle East. Look at people are walking around with masks on their face in the midst of a pestilence and plague like it's normal. They've been deceived. The year of the Lord is at hand. Read. And the day of vengeance of our God. And guess what? The day of vengeance for what they did to our people, brother. For what they did to us. So we out here to preach that to you. Right? So what? You can come learn. Build yourself up, right? And so you can preach that to your people. Because we're only looking for a set number. You understand? The Most High has his number of men that he wants to wake up, teach his people, right? Learn these laws so we can get the hell out of here. That's right. All right? We're not going to be here forever. All right? So you are from the tribe of Issachar. Today you know that. You're an Israelite. Today you've learned that. You need to start keeping the commandments, congregating with your brothers, your sisters. Today, you've learned that, okay? The, guess what? God is giving you a chance now to repent, bro. He's giving you a chance, right, to come learn, to come be amongst your people. After today, it's up to you. It's going to be up to you. I got one more scripture. Yes, but guess what, brother? You got that flyer, right? Yeah. Guess what? I, I, can, hey, I can't get in your car and drive you there. But if your church disappears, I want to But guess what? It ain't. It's going to be there. So. Trust. It's going. Oh, it's going to be there. Trust and believe that, brother. It's going to be there. So guess what you got to do? Guess I'm what you... Go. Okay. Okay. I'll pray. Hey, I'll give pray. me First Samuel. Give me First Samuel 2 real quick. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All praises. All right. We're going to see. Hey, listen. Guess what, bro? All praises to the Most High, man. Northern Kingdom. Do you know... Do you, do you know Spanish? Yes. Hey, guess what? I don't know Spanish. And guess what? We need brothers that know Spanish what? To go reach our people. So guess what? All praises. So read that. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. So guess what? God said for all of us, don't speak proudly. Don't say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Ah, there we go. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him 
actions are weighed. So guess what? God is weighing your actions. He's going to weigh your actions. So you said for weeks, I've had this feeling, right? All these churches, nobody had that. Right? I've never seen men like this before out here teaching like this. You guys try to hand me think I kind of thought you guys were crazy, but that's the sign of God. Oh, oh, yeah, they thought, I always thought the prophets was crazy. No, but it's the truth. Right, it is. But listen, guess what, brother? It's time now. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.